वेलकम टू ई पाठशाला आई एम देविका माडली प्रोफेसर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन रिसर्च एंड ट्रेनिंग सेंटर इंडियन स्टैटिस्टिकल इंस्टीट्यूट आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंफॉर्मेशन रिट्रीवल दिस इज अंडर द इंफॉर्मेशन स्टोरेज एंड रिट्रीवल कोर्स इंफॉर्मेशन रिट्रीवल इज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसीजर एंड अ प्रोसेस मेनली टूडे बिकॉज द कलेक्शन इज वेब बेस्ड एंड इट इज ऑनलाइन इट इज ह्यूज and it is growing at a very exponential rate and also the collection is very heterogeneous in content for example it could be containing of simple text or a combination of text image video and different kinds of media which are not even known to the common person maybe and this is also a part of the web and need to be retrieved in answer to information need so because of the heterogeneous content the and the large exponential growth of collection on Uh, the online medium there is certainly new challenge to ir on the other hand the challenge is also from the user side users and user needs are evolving according to the evol uh, evolving of the medium itself and of the collection itself so in today's world the user needs uh, has very little time to retrieve complex material they have very little time to formulate their query and they have very little time to refine and issue the query again in such a situation it becomes a huge ir challenge when we have a large evolving heterogeneous content on one hand and we have a user uh, body on the other hand with very complicated user query which has not given much time for retrieval the challenges for ir certainly are huge introduction to information retrieval data and information generation in every discipline of the universe of knowledge have seen a staggering growth over the last few decades storing managing querying and retrieval of huge amount of data and information today need sophisticated procedures and also very advanced and suitable technologies information need of the user has a very complex nature many models have been developed to understand the information need of human beings today and still undoubtedly this area remains a uh, problem to be understood and also there are many open questions to be answered about how a an end user will seek information how they will understand their information need and how they will actually go to a system and express their information need and how they attempt to retrieve something against that information need so all this is studied under uh, many areas such as user uh, behavior uh, query analysis and such areas but still this is uh, one interesting area where research problems exist and this is also the uh, second part uh, that is involved in ir so one part is in the collection itself the collection today is not limited it is uh, very huge it is online it is heterogeneous and it is growing at an exponential rate so that is the first challenge on the other side is the user and the complex nature of users information needs and also the complexity of how the user will actually approach systems in trying to uh, retrieve uh, in trying to express and retrieve what they require against an information need so this is the basis upon which today's ir systems uh, need to grow so we need to look at what is the need for information retrieval need for information retrieval so the need of ir came into picture due to the factors that have been discussed now and some of the factors are the sheer size and number of documents that increased where no traditional cataloging system can handle or give any kind of technical support today and libraries had little or limited scope in terms of document processing handling uh, of different e resources or sharing heterogeneous data and information over internet also there are so many different disciplines or domains uh, existing 
So, different disciplines such as for example, earth observation or biotechnology or genetics that have evolved. These are producing many different types of data which computers support and in multiple number of file formats and these also need to be indexed, stored, understood, they have to be represented in some way, they have to be organized that means and they must be retrieved. These data are may be uh, structured, they may be semi structured or many many times these resources like web pages and re resources are unstructured. So, this is another issue that needs to be addressed under IR. On the web different organizations started publishing and sharing information and actually this should be pre processed, filtered and modeled and to be able to give a general structure in two documents in the web environment. But that is not happening, different organizations just started publishing and populating documents as and when they can produce information. Whereas, in a classic IR system documents need to be indexed, they have to be um, scanned and um, for coining certain uh, information that goes into bibliographic elements. So, that would be a kind of a structured metadata available on uh, documents, but no such thing is available on the web. Subse subsequently, this big difference created a technical paradigm shift and this necessitated to invent new theory and concepts for handling e-resources. Rather than in uh, the classic IR environment where everything was rather in a controlled uh, environment and there was a library and a librarian's approach in organizing and retrieving resources. So, librarian's approach towards indexing is based upon um, what we call as pre coordination system, and both the success and efficiency of indexing used here heavily depended upon some kind of classification systems, for example, colon classification. So, based upon we know very well in library science that based upon colon classification system, the chain indexing system was developed by Dr. S. R. Ranganathan, which was we used to index documents which later was used to retrieve with a uh, fairly predictable success in uh, precision. So, this um, kind of issues that are discussed necessitates the need for information retrieval. As we know in the online environment or the web environment, we cannot expect only text documents. There are different forms of media in the document collection and generally these media are may be uh, text, it may be image, it could be graphics, it could be audio and audio could be um, just uh, sounds or um, some kind of a uh, instrument producing the sound. It could be a speech as in a speech of a person or it could be music uh, pieces whether it is uh, songs sung by persons or instrumental music. So, all these together uh, contributes to audio and the content could also be in the form of video as we know popular example of YouTube or it could be animations or a string of this. And we also have to know that it the web document could be a combination of many of these media which generally it is now whenever we go to some website most probably it is more than one of these media that we are going to get. So, documents. So, to different documents we can have these uh, many categories. The document can be monomedia document like having text only document, official records etcetera where there will can be text means alphabetical text or official records could be numeric uh, records, a numeric recording kind of a document. Then there could be multimedia documents means these documents have got different media inside them. And then there could be hypertext documents, these documents have got hyperlinks. Okay. Such documents which have got hyperlink are also known as nonlinear documents for the simple reason that there are links that deal, uh, lead a person from one document to another and again in the another document there could be links that lead to yet another 
document. So, it is not a linear uh, one, one time reading kind of document, it becomes non linear uh, kind of a thing whenever hypertext is embedded in documents. Then as a progression of this discussion, there could be hypermedia documents that means that has got multimedia plus hypertext. That means, the link that leads from uh, that leads from one document to another uh, may not lead from text to text uh, essentially for example. It could lead the hyperlink can lead to from text for example, to an image. Uh, to give a, a popular example, there can be um, a person's name uh, say Obama. When somebody clicks on the name of Obama, it could lead to a picture of Obama. So, that means the hyperlink here from text it is leading to uh, the picture of Obama or it could be uh, in text they can write that there could be uh, state of the nation uh, speech can be the text and when somebody a link is created over here and when somebody clicks uh, state of the union speech when somebody clicks on that text it could lead to the audio excerpt of the the speech being delivered or it could lead to a video coverage of the state of the union speech. So, this is called hypermedia where different kinds of media uh, resources could be interlinked using hyperlinks. And also there in today's world we know that there could be user generated documents and these could be um, the most popular example of this could be tweets or comments and blogs. So, there are so many different um, uh, kinds of documents that are not uh, essentially traditional documents at all. So, all these uh, kind of collection, the issues discussed together have necessitated the need for information retrieval. So, let us look at what information retrieval is today in this parlance. What is information retrieval? Information retrieval includes representation, storage, organizing organization accessing information which actually meets up with the users. IR includes document clustering and categorization, classification of documents, system architecture, information and data visualization and some allied services, ranking of documents, semantic linking, filtering among many others. Search engines have been developed based upon the concepts, principles and techniques developed by IR. Based on the different types of services, IR can be categorized as web search or personalized IR, enterprise or institutional service based IR or domain specific IRs. IRs can also be categorized as web based IR system, digital libraries, multimedia IR and distributed IR systems depending upon where it is deployed. So, there are certainly many advantages of information retrieval because information retrieval as explained already involves very complex procedures of representation, of organization, of access and of retrieval. It includes the whole gamut of activities right from putting together a collection till um, retrieval. So, the importance of IR is felt when there was a necessity to locate or get shading information without restrictions. The advantages of IR can be described as the IR system is defined in such a way it can accept queries in natural language and execute matching operation with its index, index term at back end and locate the expected document from its term document matrix. After executing the queries search engine represents the result with ranks as a specific uh, right, using specific ranking algorithms, for example, page rank, it run, runs on the fetched result. Preferably, the most relevant documents get top ranks than non relevant ones. So, there is an advantage where the user give, gets an indication of what may be more relevant uh, for his or her purposes. As most IR systems are in, uh, in the web parlance search engines index the document on incremental basis, web based crawlers call web pages in hyperspace within certain time interval and get updated information and they can also further index the crawl information. IR system has opened up huge of course, 
huge business opportunities through web environment. So let us look at the origin of IR itself. Approach to manage and organi organize large collection of information actually came from librarianship. It can be claimed that cataloging is the primordial soup for the birth of information retrieval. So Eliot and Rose claimed in 3rd century BC that the Greek poet first created his own cataloging scheme for managing personal collection. So it is as old as that, that the concept of cataloging for retrieval was already evolved. In the ancient periods, some big libraries were built. For example, the library at Alexandria had more than 700,000 documents. Nalanda University had one huge library for, of document collection. But the existence of any mechanism to organize or classify or retrieve information was not known. In 1891, Rudolph filed a patent to US Patent Office for a machine composed catalog cards joined together, which could be wound past a viewing window, enabling rapid manual scanning of catalogs. So far in 1918 filed another patent for a device where catalog cards withhold related to cat categories were aligned in front of each other to determine if these were the entries in a collection with a particular combination of categories. If light could be seen through the arrangement of cards, it will seem like the match is formed. Emmanuel Goldberg was the first person who worked to solve that problem in the 1920s and 30s. What he created was an optical device which basically searched for a pattern of dots or letters within catalogs on a roll of microfilm. So Goldberg patented many of his inventions in uh, photography. This can be seen as a graphical representation, the optical machine of Goldberg. In 1935, Davis and Drager also made several experiments on similar line as Goldberg on microfilm based searching and the final and the large significant invention was whenever bushes which developed the famous Nemec system in 1945. Continuing the history of IR, Rodolphe Shaw implemented rapid selector in US Department of Agriculture, the USDA library. This machine was developed under the supervision of engineers in MIT and they worked on earlier version of the rapid selector on the consent from Bush and delivered the same to the agricultural department in around 1949. So as we can see, it was a quick succession of work in IR that led to some kind of uh, progress and uh, betterment of the systems. In 1948, Holmstrom showed that UNIVAC could be capable of searching for text references attached to subject code which used to be stored on magnetic tapes and could process about 120 words a minute. This is the first known fact where computer was used to search contents. During 1950s, many projects were undertaken related to IR in different um, organizations like the GE or General Electric. Important milestone include the coordinate and unit term indexing by top which came about uh, around 1951. Other important milestone include, of course, the crane field uh, one and two experiments studied by ASLIB under the supervision of C.W. Cleverdon using unit term classification and other cl alphabetical classification subject systems such as universal catalog, faceted and decimal classification scheme. The main objective of the experiment centered around the investigation of the cost of indexing the cost of preparing a physical index and the cost of searching. The other tests include the Cranefield WRU test parallel to Cranefield 1 test and also the Cranefield 2 test of 1963 to 66, which was executed by Cleverdon, Mills and Keel and it was evaluated majorly on two measures of recall and precision, though such measures were also used in earlier systems. Weinberg report of 63 of science, government and information identified the problem of information transfer process and managing growing number of information along with its crisis. This report put forward the urgency to address and formulate advanced techniques to retrieve information and manage and store them with convenience. 
this report made recommendations separately to uh, technical community as well as the government agencies. In 1968, the project report was published by the Intrix database design in MIT. This system could read the machine readable, flexible, analytically structured cattle record, catalog record format. Effort was also given to the creation from each document to a set of complete index term phrases and to the problems of matching these unconstrained terms with similarly unconstrained subject phrase requests. So, these are uh, the terminology used from the original reports of those projects, which were of course important milestones in the development of IR as we know it today. One of the important systems or the milestones uh, in IR is of course, the SMART retrieval system. SMART stands for system for the mechanical analysis and retrieval of text information retrieval system developed by under the leadership of Salton in Cornell University in the 1960s. This system incorporated many important concepts like vector space model, relevance feedback and Rochio classification which till this day are quite relevant in the IR research. In 1968, Salton published his famous book titled Automatic Information Organization and Retrieval. J. W. Salmon in 1969 gave the idea of visualization interface integrated to IR system in his paper, a nonlinear mapping of data structure analysis and the first online systems started occurring with the National uh, Library of Medicines, MTWX, Medline, Lockheed's Dialog and SDC's Orbit. So, we know that NLM's Medline is one of the very uh, popular service and it has the retrieval component that is much researched and written about. During 1966 to 67, F. W. Lancaster evaluated MEDLARS, which stands for Medical Literature Analysis and Retrieval System. Uh, it is a demand search service. MEDLARS eventually gave birth to what is known as AMTWX. He also evaluated that during uh, 70 and 71. So, MEDLARS and AMTWX were the previous version of PubMed, Medline's PubMed. Continuing the important milestone in 1975, three publications from Salton gave a tremendous impetus to research in IR community. They are the classics, a theory of indexing, a theory of term importance in automatic text analysis and the use of uh, the paper on the use of vector space model for automatic indexing. The ACM SIGIR conference started in 18, uh, 1978, which subsequently emerged as the APEX conference in this field. So, to this day, the SIGIR conferences deal with very important breakthroughs in the latest IR systems. Belkin, Odi and Brooks gave the concept of ASK, an anomalous state of knowledge for IR in 1982. One important invention that happened during 1982 to 88 was the formulation of the OCAPI model. It was developed at Polytechnic of Central London. OCAPI is a set oriented ranked output design for probabilistic type retrieval of textual material using inverted index. Of course, after this the major breakthrough was 1989 where Tim Bernstein proposed the World Wide Web in CERN laboratory. After the WWW, it was practically a changed world. The kind of collection, the kind of IR activities and research in IR completely changed because the web changed the way documents are produced and shared in the world. The TREC conference started as part of the Tripster text program in 1992 and this was sponsored by the US Defense and National Institute of Standards and Technology which is the NIST and the popular page rank algorithm was developed by Stanford, Stanford University by Larry Page and Sergey Brin in 1996. After that there have been again significant developments uh, such as the latent derelict allocation DLDA a generative topic model in NLP that was developed by David Blee, Andrew Ng and Michael Jordan in 2003. 
So, LDA is similar to probabilistic latent semantic analysis and latent semantic indexing and this has gained, uh, gained a huge popularity in WWW uh, of late. 1997 of course, saw Google the birth of Google Inc, which is now ruling dominantly in search engine domain and developing many, many IR models that deal with complicated IR issues and problems. So, the present situation of the web and the environment of search engine did not involve evolve overnight. It has been a product like we have seen over decades long research. It has been the effort to evolve as the collection and the complexity of the collection also occurred. So, as the we have seen there were just documents of the web and then came in the late 80s and the 90s the web and then came the new challenges with exploding information and um, the exploding and complex nature of users need on the web and then came also the evolution of more and more sophisticated technology. So, when we trace all these kind of development we can also see that IR systems have been trying to catch up with all the complexities and trying to give better and better solutions over the period of time. So, to summarize the discussion we have seen what are all the steps and in the evaluation or ev evolution of IR that was involved. We understand that IR is not a simple task anymore and that it has not evolved just overnight. It has taken decades long of very intensive research to reach where we are, but that does not even mean that in future there will not be challenges as the web evolves and as the online uh, collection is getting more and more vast and more and more complex in nature, the challenges for IR will also grow. But luckily there are very uh, time tested and experienced uh, research work which are giving also solutions. These are reported in very popular conferences that for IR like SIGIR and TREK very regularly and we are seeing the result of modern IR system being reported from time to time. So, this module deals with the importance and the evolution of IR and the IR techniques.